Thing, our biggest challenge, like you said, is is, is the group of players. Um, it's the number of the group of players. Uh, we don't get a chance to, you know, really bang in practice to go against each other and have that push going back and forth. But the one thing that these kids do have that people don't realize is that these kids have fight. Now, this is the 100. This marks the 100 year this season. 
Um, they were getting ready to lose football, and I don't know if people pay attention to what's been going on over at the George School. This is a great group of kids. I mean, we're out here playing now. We only had 10 practices. Okay. So, you know, you're seeing this team at 10 practices. Um, we really didn't have an offseason. We only had uh, a week worth of offseason, and then we were right into the games. So um, hopefully next year we'll be able to, 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 to schedule those things out and give these kids the opportunity to get better. One thing that we noticed with these guys is that they're like sponges. They pick up everything, um, and this is just a great group. This is a great group that people need to come see. I know the score doesn't reflect it, but they, they, they keep fighting, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be in the game. You know, we're, we're going to get to where we need to get to, and I'm hoping and I'm praying that, you know, these guys will stick together. They'll continue to believe and continue to feed into, you know, what we're giving them. And for us, it's just, it's just for me, it's been an honor. It's been an honor and a privilege to have that opportunity to come over to the George School and, you know, take on that, 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 that major, major um, obstacle of keeping this unit together, putting them together and keeping them successful. And a lot of people don't realize, man, that these kids, they're, 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 they were hurt. Their, their, their feelings were hurt. I mean, they were down, and now we got kids who they're, they're smiling in practice, they're running around, they're having fun. That wasn't that was that was missing before. So I'm 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 happy and I'm truly blessed to have this opportunity. Uh, our, our quarterback Mike Pasidi, number nine. He's a he's a he's a he's a sophomore. Uh, Aiden Brooks, number two, our running back. He's also a sophomore. Uh, we only have five seniors on this team, okay. and we're loaded with 12 freshmen. I think we have. A couple juniors and sophomores sprinkled in there, but these guys are freshmen, and a lot of them haven't played this game before. So we're teaching fundamentals how to break the huddle, how to how to get down into your you know in, in a three point stance, um, how to hold the ball as a running back. This is only Aiden's second year playing, or number two. Okay. This is only his second year playing and and playing running back. Um, he's from the U.S. Virgin Islands, and let me tell you something, man. This kid has done a 180 from our first meeting with him. And he's a leader out there. Him and Mike Pasidi, they're both leaders out there. They're just young. And they're right. gonna make young, they're gonna make young mistakes. And we expect them to make young mistakes. Our thing is that we gotta teach them to have a short memory. Like, they're gonna come a time where you're gonna be a senior and you're gonna look back on this day and you're gonna laugh about it. You know what I mean? So we wanna, we wanna make them strong, mentally strong for that. All right. So those two players are two incredible players that we're going to have for the next three seasons. Yes. So people better come see us. All right. You know what I mean? All right, Coach. I appreciate it. Thank you again. Yes, sir. Uh, good luck on your next game and, and in the future. Yes, sir. Thank you.